All right, everybody, how's it going? This is Jose Trujillo. Just wanted to give you guys a little update here on a painting I'm doing. I just did the outline right now. Just a very simple outline, not 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 much. Okay, just just enough to to uh, give a sense of the. Of the work okay that's the whole point give a sense of the work now look when when I when I say paint quick I'm not saying I'm not saying uh, half fast it guys like this is how I draw okay if if you draw fast cool if you don't then draw however you draw you know draw a little slower whatever your thing is okay this is how I feel very comfortable drawing. This is my, my comfort level. And, 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 and I say my comfort because this is, this is how I'm able to create the speed that I want. And, and there's peace in my mind to this level, right? Some people need to do something more detailed. Other people are a bit more abstract, whatever you are, okay? Whatever your thing is. Because I've been uh, talking to people, to artists about painting, painting quick. But uh, it, it can get very easily confused, guys, okay? Quick does not mean half-ass. Quick means that you just keep moving. That's all it means. If it takes you all day, it takes you all day. I mean, there, there, there's, really, there's really nothing you can do about it. It's just that's the way the work works, you know? Quick means that, that, that you are... That you keep moving. That's really what quick means. Look, you keep moving. See, I don't get stuck. Even though I lost an eye right there, I don't get stuck on it. I'll come back to it. It's okay. I can always come back to it. But this is what quick means. You got to operate like it's quicksand, but you can't move faster than what you need to move because then you'll fail at it. Uh, you'll, you'll fail at the whole thing. This is something very important to, to understand, okay? When I say go fast, I don't say... I don't say uh, it's, it's a very interesting little thing. It's, it's, it's go fast, but take your time, if that makes any sense. Okay? It's go fast, but take your time. Don't, don't rush through it. This is going to be part of my, my class as my free workshops. I'm doing some free workshops for you over there uh, uh, on, on my painting academy, online painting academy, for those of you who are interested in this type of deal. So I don't want people to get confused because I, I talk a lot about speed and I talk a lot about, about um, being free. It does not mean, it does not mean um, don't pay attention to it. That's not what it means, okay? I, I already got some, some, uh, some students who were a bit confused. They were like, well, I tried to do it really fast and it just came out horrible. I'm like, did you take your time? No, you said to do it fast. Yeah, do it fast, but take your time with it. It's, it's, you, you, I mean, keep moving really fast means that the brush is fast, but, but take your time with it. If it's going to take you two hours, it'll take you two hours. You know, if it's going to take you 15, 20 minutes, then that's what it takes. But you got to keep moving. This is really the, the, the way that I, that I, am um, teaching artists right now. Because it eliminates, it eliminates all the, all the uh, BS, you know, it eliminates all the BS, all the unnecessary uh, drama that can be found in a painting if you're not careful. There's, there's a lot of unnecessary drama in a painting. But it doesn't mean that you, that you, uh, it doesn't mean that you neglect the painting either. I mean, you know,
And don't get me wrong, quick is beautiful, but it's horrible. It's desperate when you're when you don't take your time. When you don't take your time, it's not beautiful anymore. It becomes desperate. And I, I think that's why some people have such a hard time with this. Including myself, I've had I have a lot of hard time with it when I don't take my time. You know? Because really what's happening is that you're not honoring the present moment. That's all it is, okay? It's a very philosophical thing, but it's really what it is. You're not honoring the place you're in. You're trying to avoid it. And every time you're trying to avoid whatever you're doing, you, you, dishonor, you dishonor that moment. You use it as a stepping stone to get to the next moment, but the next moment is futile. Because when it shows up, it's also the same moment right now. It's the present moment. So I know it sounds like some mumbo-jumbo here, but... Bear with me. And I believe it's really why, why uh, we have a hard time as artists. Many, many artists have a hard time because we're trying to avoid what is we're trying to avoid what is you know and you can't avoid what is but what I, what I mean by this is is if the painting takes you an hour maybe don't try to do it in 10 minutes it takes you an hour to do it you know maybe with enough practice it'll take you less but but if it takes you an hour it takes you an hour and there's nothing you can do about it right now you know uh honor the hour if it takes you a whole day, honor the whole day. I mean, really, it doesn't matter what it takes. If you're, if you're painting loose and a painting takes you more than a day, uh, maybe you're taking too many breaks. It's one brush stroke after another. Look, it's one brush stroke after another. But it's calm, it's not desperate. You're not desperate, it's calm. It's one brush stroke, it's one. There we go, there we go, there we go. You see? The desperation cannot be there because if the desperation is there, then you're no longer painting that what you're doing. What you're doing is you're trying to catch up with time and that is impossible. The rabbit has gone down the hole. You cannot catch up with time, it is gone. You can only enjoy the time and honor the time that you're in front of right now. That's all you can do. You will not be able to catch up the time. Time is a time is a fucker. You, you can't catch it. You you either have it or you don't. Psychological time is what I'm talking about. For those of you who are scratching your heads and saying, "What the fuck is this guy talking about?" Psychological time. The idea of time. It's impossible to catch. That's why in the, in the cartoon, Alice in Wonderland, she can never catch the rabbit. Of course not. And he's always late. Because you can never catch psychological time. That's the deeper meaning, I believe, of that, of that cartoon. You can never catch psychological time. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Of course you are. That's why, you, that's why Jesus said, why are you so worried about the morrow? Remember, and the, those of you who, who are Bible readers... Why are you so worried about tomorrow? Why are you so worried about tomorrow, the next day? Why? Because you can't catch it. That's why you're so worried about it. You can't catch it. The opposite is also happens when you think about the past. You think about the past, you think about the past. Every time you think about the past, you're affecting the future. Your idea of the future. You're messing psychological time. Psychological time is the origin of suffering of the human being. Why am I saying all this? Because if you're a painter and, and you don't take your time with the painting, you will have a hard time. Whatever taking your time is, it doesn't matter what it is. Some people paint very fast, some people paint very slow. Some people, whatever you do, whatever you do, be okay with what you do. Be at peace with it. Be at peace with it. Be at peace if it takes you a long time, be at peace if it takes you a short time. Whatever it takes you, honor, honor what it takes you. Honor what it takes you.
Some people told me, you paint, too, you paint too fast. A lot of people tell me, you overpaint it, you paint too slow. And the reality is that only I know what too fast or too slow is. They can't tell me. They don't know me. They, they don't know who I am. No one can tell me if I'm painting too fast or too slow. It is not for them to decide. It's me at peace with my psychological time. It's me at peace with it. What appears too fast for someone might be too slow for someone else. But, you know, for me, for me, it's just perfect. It's right. I'm in harmony. I'm gliding. The gods have favored me. <laughs> the gods have favored me. I'm gliding through this. For me, that's what it means. For other people, it might not be. For other people, it might be that this guy's just, this guy's not even painting. You know? Or he, or he took too long. Or the painting was finished 10 minutes ago. You know, I, I, you, if you listen to all of those things, you will not be your own person. You will not be your own artist. You cannot listen to those things. Those are just ideas of someone else. Those are, those are, that's what someone else would do. Let them do it. For years, I've listened to other people tell me, no, you took too long. No, you should have, uh, the painting was done a long time ago. And the reality is, guys, is that only I know that. No one else knows that. Only the artist knows that because because you are the source, baby. You're the engine. You're the you're the one who is creating it. You know when it's finished. And if you're true to yourself, you will know when it's finished. If you're not, you'll sit there and look at it. What I mean, true to yourself, is that you're not you're not really thinking about it. You're not overthinking it. You just you just know it's it's a knowing. It's something that you just know. Just like right now, baby. Look, I'm done. I know. There's nothing else. Anything else I'll do to it is bells it's bells and whistles. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. By the way, if you guys like this type of artwork, the type of painting that I do, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of expressionist, impressionist type of, type of work, brushwork. It's loose brushwork. If you guys like this type of artwork, you guys are going to love, 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 love my eBay shop. Why? Because this painting measures 18 by 20, 24 inches oil and canvas. And I'm going to auction it for a buck. The auction's gonna start at a dollar. Okay? I believe me, I had some people win them at very low prices. I had some people who really want them who don't let anyone else take it from them. <laughs> and that's where we both win. But either way, guys, go check it out. Go check it out. Imagine this hanging hanging in your house or your office how awesome would that be maybe it's a gift i don't know maybe it'll be a gift for someone either way guys this painting is in my ebay shop right now if you're watching this on youtube uh go check it out really fast because it might just you might just be late to the game okay i'll put a link below but if you're watching this on instagram right now it's barely gonna go up I'm, I'm taking i'm taking a picture right now and it's gonna go up right now so so dm me for the link send me a message and i'll and i'll give you a, a link straight to this all right take care guys my name is jose trujillo as the signature says right here world's great it says world's greatest living artist hey and you know what you too are world's greatest living artist don't let anyone tell you less you deserve more don't let anyone tell you that you're less than who you are everyone is worth a shitload a lot we're all worth a lot we just got to come into terms with it. We have to accept it, okay? Peace, guys. Adios.